Another power saving modification you can add to the procedure when you're putting these loggers together, which is to uh, replace the voltage regulator. This is an MIC5205 voltage regulator, and they're, they're actually really poor efficiency at low power. At high power, they're, they're great regulators, and they have some features that I like, but at low power, so if you're well below a milliamp, and down in the half a milliamp, um, or even a tenth of a milliamp range, they're less than 50% efficient. The efficiency drops off really, really sharply. And so there's uh, other voltage regulators that are relatively inexpensive. You can pick them up for about a buck each on eBay that are approaching 80-90% efficient. So changing the voltage regulator can actually save you, uh, cut your sleep current in half. For data loggers, sleep current is really how long it lasts. It's, it's the most important factor for longevity. And so the one that I normally use is the 1702-3302E and this is available in a TO package which is these little fellows here it's actually getting hard to find good regulators that are big enough to work with with your hands and uh, so there's not too many options out there there's plenty of these little these little uh, surface mount ones but they're too small to work with your your own hands with so I like this one just because it's big enough that I can do this modification so my first step in the modification is to remove the old regulator I'll try and get this in camera it's not that hard to do uh, but it's hard for me to figure out how to do this while the camera's on it here and keep it all in focus So I usually cut the two big legs. And then just tip it back and forth until the, the three smaller ones break because I can't really reach those. So there we are, we've removed the old regulator. And uh, this board's already been coated with conformal coating, but normally I would do this beforehand. It's an optional procedure. You can do it if you want to. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. I like it. It doubles the lifespan of the logger. So Now that that's out of the way, we're going to be attaching the new regulator to the VCC ground and raw pins. And because these capacitors are still in place, we don't even have to add the capacitors. Um, they're not quite the same. I think the, uh, the new regulator specifies ceramics and, and these are, I think, tantalums, but it's close enough. It still works. So I don't have to worry about even adding capacitors. I'm just going to basically put the new regulator right onto those pins there. So first we'll do some tinning and we'll we'll bend this into the shape it needs to be in for that solder connection. So a little bit of tinning. And again, this is one of those components that you want to hold in your hands so you don't cook it. It's real easy to get this too hot. So as soon as your fingers say it's too hot, stop and blow on it and make it not too hot again. This is probably not recommended procedure, but it's just it's the way I make sure that I'm not doing any damage to my components is my fingers tell me no damage. Okay, so I've got the got some tin on those pins. Now one of the pins, because the order, the order of our, our connections doesn't quite match the order that we're actually hoping for with the with the way these things are set up. I have to lift this pin here and it has to cross over these other two pins. So I'm going to put some uh, heat shrink tubing on that so that I can do this crossover properly because these are oriented in the right orientation for the board but this is, n this, this is not in the right place. So and this is a 1 16th each week. Actually, it might be a little bit smaller. It might be a one millimeter. I'm not sure, but it's just a tiny little tube. It's the smallest you can get. It's actually still a little long. Okay. 
Okay, so we have a very, very tiny piece of heat shrink there. And it's just to protect it when it's crossing over. So now for the tricky part is the is the bend. This guy goes up, and then I have to put sort of a, a corner in it. And so this is, this is a little tricky, and it really helps to have these these pointy, very pointy needle nose pliers to do this bending. And I, what I'm doing is I'm just bringing the pins into an orientation that matches uh, what we'll find on the board. And this takes a little bit of practice. You know, again, you kind of get a sense of where the where the stuff's going. And now you can see why I put the heat shrink on that wire because crossing it over, I just want to make sure we don't get any touchdowns. And also, we're going to be putting an RTC on top of the board. And again, there's a potential to touch down right there. So so there's a little bit of heat shrink. And there's our legs bent into more or less the right shape. We'll see where exactly it needs to go when we put it down on the board. I'll try to zoom in on this a little bit more. All right, so now the, the new regulator is gonna go in place and I'm gonna solder it on the, t the ground, the raw, and this VCC pin right here. We're going to leave the ends sticking out because remember we have to wrap the power line from the SD card going to the RTC around the VCC. So if we're going to have this pin right, I'm going to leave this a little bit longer afterwards. But even so, you don't you don't necessarily need to uh, trim any of these pins until you're really confident that you've got it in the right place. Okay, so I lay it out. Flat face is up on this particular T0 package. And uh, my recommendation is just solder whichever one you think is easiest to do first. Once one of them is in place, then the others become much, much easier to do because the, the piece is held. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that down there. And I think we'll tack that initial raw pin first. Just because it's sitting there, it looks easy to get to. Okay, and uh, I won't worry about clipping this just yet. I'm just lifting it up so it's up there. I'll do the same thing. I'll just sort of bend this guy over. The key thing to watch out is you don't want to you don't want to bring this line over and then touch down on the edge. There's a little capacitor right there, and it would be easy to just bring this, squish this down, and then start contacting the rest of the board. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and move it onto the other side. This looks good enough just as it is, and it's it's well over top of of this little capacitor. So it's not making, it's not in danger of touching down on the end where the solder point is for that capacitor. It's just totally over top. All right, so that's two of our connections. In place, the raw line, which is V in and ground, and now we have to bring that voltage output from the regular over to this VCC pin, and uh, you know it's it's tricky. Just takes a bit of practice, so I'm going to put a a little hockey stick bend on that, and then just solder that pin right there, and and once this regulator is in place. A little bit of effort, but it's worth it because this is effectively this little modification doubles the lifespan, and it does. It's totally independent of the other hardware that you have on your build. Uh, doesn't require any changes to the code, so it's just a, a little hardware mod. I 
again, you know, I always I, I use my finger there. My finger said it's getting hot, so I blow on it and cool it down. So this this little guy here, I'm going to leave this extended because if you remember the rest of the build, uh, the SD card line comes across and touches the VCC pin and then goes up to the RTC. Well, now we even have that extended. It makes that wrap a little bit easier. But I am going to trim these two because we don't need them in place. Alright, so that, that's the regulator mod, and uh, you know, I'd call that an advanced modification. You need to have, you need to have some real confidence on your soldering in, in fine places, and uh, I, I use this tip right here. This is the T18, I think, on the Heiko series, and it, it, gives you, it gives you a fine enough point to do this kind of soldering. You don't want to try this modification with uh, a fat screwdriver tip or you know some other weirdly shaped tip. I like the T18 cones because it lets me get in here and do this and you, you kind of need to have that if you're going to be doing this modification. So uh, once again we'll do the, the cooking show trick here. I'll pull this away and uh, I'll, I'll give you a, a sense of how that fits in once you've, once you've got more of the stuff from the logger in place. So that's the mod, the uh, voltage regulator mod in process when you're building a logger and this one already has the SD card and you can see down here the power line wrapping around that little extended leg of the modified voltage regulator. So that's it, that's the second of the power mods that I wanted to show because it's as I said it's independent of the code, it doesn't require you to do anything, once it's done it's done and it just doubles the life of your uh, data logger.